Nice one called Dudes. I am here in the big smoke, Sloan Square, the posh part of London. What am I doing here? I'm gonna go for a walk, a circular walk from here to Battersea Park, and I hope to see Battersea Zoo. And there's one special reason I'm going on this walk, and I'll tell you it on the way. Should be about three or four miles. All right, mate. Um, what else is there to say? Oh yeah, good luck everyone, especially me. Ah, Ralph Lauren. That's where I buy my clothes when I'm not shopping at Tesco's. If I do a painting at the end of this video, it'll probably be on sale at the Saatchi Gallery. That is Sir Hans Sloan, who Sloan Square is named after, in case you're wondering. I lived in London for 21 years, and this is one of the areas that I don't really know. I mean, London's pretty much about 50 cities stuck together, really. That's the best way, I think, of understanding it. This building here called Dude is the Royal Hospital in Chelsea. It was founded by Charles II, and it's for veteran soldiers who've been in the army for 20 years or been wounded. And the minimum age for entry is normally around 65, and there's accommodation for 300 people there. And the Chelsea pensioners surrender their army pension in order to live there. You probably recognise them if you see one, they're dressed in these sort of red outfits. That is probably where Scrooge lived. It is January, so the park is full of January joggers. But the main reason I wanted to come to the park was about 23 years ago, my girlfriend at the time adopted an albino wallaby for me. Well, it was called Joey. I don't think albino wallabies can live for 23 years, but I wanted to go and look at the zoo to see if Joey or the son of Joey so my grandson Wallaby is still alive. Also, thank you to Rhiannon for adopting that Joey for me many years ago. People wanted to know about the history of Battersea Park will be interested to hear that this used to be just ditches and marshland that flowed into the Thames until a man in the 19th century, Sir James Penthorne, created the park. This used to be a very popular place to have jewels the last of which being one between the Duke of Wellington and Lord Winchelsea. Very interesting. I spoke to the nice people on the door and they said that wallabies probably lived for about 15 years. So I think I've missed him by eight years. There should be some other wallabies here somewhere. So I'll see if I can see the son of Joey. While we await to see if Joey's still alive, here's a quick animal related zoo quiz. Please get your pen and paper out. Good luck. Here's a quiz question for you. How long do you think these sheep can go without water. A, a week. B, a month. C, a year. The 
answer is a month. This is the common squirrel monkey. Here's the question. How many different calls do you think they've got? A, 10 to 15, B, 25 to 30, or C, 50 to 60? The answer is 25 to 30. I wish I had hair like that. What is this bird called, cool dudes? The laughing kookaburra, the crying kookaburra, or the screaming kookaburra? It's the laughing kookaburra. Nice helicopter, lads. He's looking over. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen my son, Joey? He's a bit paler than me. No. I'll take that as a no. I'm a little disappointed I didn't see my albino Joey's son. But on the upside, I did get a sheet pencil for the YouTube members in the prize draw. A good spot for lunch, cool dudes. Which is ham and cheese on brown bread, a tiny Twix bar, apple, sweet chilli crisps, water, nice one. A very tame Robin has joined me for lunch. What do you think? Good? More cheese, more ham? This is a question I just overheard someone ask another walker, which is, which capital city would you live in and why? I've already been in London for 20 odd years, so I might pick someone like Paris. Please put your answers below. I look forward to reading them. Everyone loves a good bridge, right? If you've enjoyed this Walk Cool Dudes, you can always help me make more and be a part of the club. What a good idea, right? Yes, how do you do that? You go to the community page and click on this join button where there are a list of options of membership to choose from. All that money goes towards me making the videos, which is my pretty much full-time job. And what do you get for that? You get to use these emojis, you get to watch these videos, and you get entered into the prize draw. What for? A boat trip across the Thames? Um, no, uh, the um, sheet pen I bought earlier. Nice one called cool dudes. Nearly three hours later, I think 4.3 miles. A pretty nice walk of I didn't see my wallaby son. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. Some people might call this avant-garde. Others might say it's the most disgusting thing I've ever painted. Sarchi Brothers, if you're watching, you can get this now on eBay. Starting price. 74 pence plus post and packaging. Oh, what a bargain. I'd like to put that in my bin. Anyway, cool dudes, before the prize draw, the only other news is, is that if you enjoy Marek content and want more of it, who could say no to that? I've started doing a monthly video diary, which is available on my Marek Lowered other channel. Oh, I'd like to watch that, please. All right. Um, yeah, the prize draw, yeah, I want to know all about it. 
Well, cool dudes, this uh, episode you can win a Marek keyring, a keyring from Cow's Laser, a cool Ghost Hunter badge, mm, a lovely postcard, the stickers, a spotter's handbook, a trip to Guernsey zine, and strawberry laces. I like the sound of that. All right. Currently, there are 479 excellent YouTube members helping me continue to do this. Random number generator, generate me a number. Generate 409. The 409th longest serving member at four months as a member is Burr, B-U-R-R. -R. If that's you, please email me at callthiswalkingclub at gmail.com and I'll send you all that great stuff. Uh, what else is there? That's it. Um, some strange wallabies and also vicar keyrings are available for some reason. Oh, it's my dad on the phone. All right, I better go. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. Hello?